My name is Simon Bryant and I am a, a multi-camera editor. I mostly edit live music. Uh, I've been doing it for nine years and I really like what I do. Recently I've been working on uh, a large project for the Rolling Stones which was filmed in Cuba and also the whole Latin America tour. Uh, I've also did a big project for Taylor Swift, her, her 1989 tour, um, a lot of stuff for Adele. I was really lucky to, to work on Adele live at the Royal Albert Hall and that was kind of very early days for me and it's still one of the things I'm most proud of because when you're lucky enough to, to be given footage or to, to be editing an event where something really magical happened, then you've got magic to eke out in the edit and, then that's, and that's when you can do something really special. The way that, that Paul Dugdale, director, approached it was very much that we wanted to keep it very documentary style, really not push. The edits are relatively slow paced. I mean some of the songs I think probably might only have like 20 or 30 shots for a five minute song. And it just encourages the viewer to look really. My favourite part of what I do is there's a sort of a midpoint during an edit. My technique is just to kind of just start bashing away really and just to I listen to the song I watch it through try and get a feel there's a sort of lovely moment when you find four or five shots but usually in a kind of particularly significant part of the song where it just you find those shots they just flow perfectly you can feel that it's lifting the song as the song comes up the pictures are coming up and then there's a huge drop and there's a, and that's a buzz uh, since we moved to Premier a year ago, um, it's been quite a relief actually because for a while after the death of Final Cut 7, we weren't really sort of settled in one system and now Premier Pro is my go-to uh, piece of software. We still love the, the multicam, the way the multicam works, the way in which you, a multicam is completely live and works like a nest so you can alter your multicam. That's been really good for sync issues now because there was all, we always have problems with sync. Now you can check sync at the beginning and you can shift it if you ever think anything's wrong in the group and it updates across all of your edits. So that's been a great relief because sync checking is a pain. We're really excited about the new proxy workflow which I've just started playing with. We haven't yet used it on a big job. I used it on a small job for Bastila and it worked. But the really, really big thing which we haven't really pushed means that basically when I'm screening to a director, I can show him full quality rushes instantly, which is huge for us. We often have to send down to conform, which can take, if it's busy, can take a day. And so it really interrupts the flow. But now I can just switch to it uh, without speaking to anyone, try a grade, see if anything really is sharp or out of focus. So it's, that's a huge, huge change for us. I think the variety of tools in Lumetri uh, is really lovely for us because I think different people think about colour in different ways. Like I really like curves, I really like the way that makes visual sense to me and it, it gives me an ability to make quite subtle changes. So I think that the broad range of tools there really means that I can achieve sort of broad stroke grades very, very quickly. From my point of view, I really like doing stuff for the cinema. I like doing whole films where you can take the audience on a journey and so you might approach different songs in a different way to make the journey of the whole film more of a roller coaster, more emotionally engaging. For me to think of a uh, hundred people sitting in a darkened room with their face lit up by the things I've edited is a lovely idea. <laughs>